white rhinoceroses uh, are representing Russia in this instance, and we have now finally moved into the first one versus one duel. It is the LA-5F that will be flown, uh, and we're gonna see Head Shooter fly out for white rhinoceros, and we're going to see THG fly out for Dark. Dear Adler, Dark. Dear Adler. Dive and the turn. I'm watching THG while well, both are diving hard here. Try to pick up as much energy as possible. We're probably gonna see them up, turn upwards here as soon as they pass each other, more or less. Mm, more so from head to shoot, not so much from THG. It seems to be doing more of a, of a sideways turn, which might not be a good thing for him. But head shooter didn't get nose down on THG. THG now actually getting his nose on Edger and using those stealth rounds. Using stealth rounds. Didn't manage to get any hits off. Now head Blast being used by Head Shooter. Uh, now he's uh, detracting them again. Blast being used by THG. I mean, Hedgehog most definitely now has the advantage because he is much higher up. Oh yeah, definitely. He has that managed was a to crit lot him. Of, oh wow, yeah. The damage to the left wing there. I, I actually, if, to me, it looked for a second that he wasn't actually uh, getting his crosshair on. I was like, wow, that was a lot of bullets. But obviously now I see that he did get his crosshair on, and that was all he needed. And we're probably gonna see him finish right here right now done there you go I do love the these 20 first... millimeters oh yeah yeah they're awesome uh, the first leg goes to uh, white rhinoceros this is uh, there's gonna be four one versus one jewels uh, a tiebreaker if needed and there, then there's gonna be we're gonna be watching two two versus two a tiebreaker if needed there as well and then there will be a four versus four the one versus one, whoever, whichever team wins the entire one versus one round, gets one point. Whoever wins the two versus two gets two points, and whoever wins the four versus four gets three points. Which does mean that at the end of the whole series, there could be a draw and need for a tiebreaker to decide the entire match, and who moves on into the grand final. I'm gonna be back in five seconds. I'm gonna go run, grab a jersey. I'm freezing over here. Uh, a quick statement on the planes they are using, guys. The captains have already vetoed the planes. Uh, so the only plane they will be using is the LA. They will not be using any other plane. They are, they are using the LA-5 for the entire series. We did see the AC earlier. And the BF-109 is a plane they could potentially use, but they didn't on this occasion. Alright. <laughs> next, next. Duo ready, loading. Five seconds, start. Uh, it is just the LA-5F. Neither one flying out for Deer Adler, and Johnny K flying out for White Rhinoceros. <clears throat> uh, 
Sniper climbing at the moment, but now he's turning downwards. They were doing similar to his teammate in a previous round when turning sideways. Then going up. I mean, people do prefer the loop because it does help to conserve some energy. Mm. But this is so good though. He was close to getting his crosshair on Johnny K there. I'm surprised Sniper isn't using any kind of flaps. Yeah, he isn't, but... Oh, Johnny is using combat flaps. Hmm. That is something we should see Johnny turn a lot sharper then. But now they're down to the train, though, and... Uh, it will become a factor. Hmm. Uh, we did see earlier today a lot of uh, a lot of collisions with terrain. Ah, oh. yeah, it definitely can happen on a map like this. No damage done, but fires or bullets being fired by a sniper. Johnny K getting a salvo off, but not seemingly hitting anything. Looks like he's trying to get him into a hammerhead to stall him out. Yeah, but doesn't. that was all Johnny needed. It was pretty close. I mean, Johnny literally just stalled out, so mm. a little, a little bit longer. Just unlucky. Just didn't judge his momentum well enough. No, that was. Uh, it's it's always one of those things. It's uh, it's a gamble to go up uh, trying the hammerhead or. You know, stall. You know, trying to stall your uh, opponent out in in getting them to chase you because you. I mean, you are uh, taking the risk definitely of them just hitting you and killing you in that move because you're gonna, you know, get to the top of it and be like standing still. It's gonna be easy uh, unless they have too little momentum and just can't keep up the nose. But yeah, in this situation, uh, it, he had plenty enough time to keep the nose up, get the crosser where he wanted, and uh, finish him off. So white rhinoceros leading two to nil. Yeah, uh, if white rhinoceros wins this next one versus one duel, they uh, they will have the first point. Uh, the rattler now has to win to. Oh, uh, well, they have to win the next two duels to 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 put this into a tiebreaker. Five second and start. See who will fly out of here. We have a maniac Sith Master using the Force. My flying favorite out pilot. For, your favorite pilot. Flying out for white rhinoceros. Uh, and Colos Rodos flying out for DA. Or Deer Adler. Colos climbing aggressively. Not anymore. 
Now it's the diving. They're both doing loops going around each other, you could say. Nobody really has the advantage. Flaps is being used by Colas. But I can hear Flaps being used by Maniac Sith Monster as well. Colas is using them aggressively, like it's like. You hear them all the time. I mean, on many occasions we've seen games lost because of people not using flaps. So it's nice to see people actually using them now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these guys should know the absolute importance of using flaps, especially at this stage of the tournament. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, whoever loses here now is actually third best in the world in, in competitive uh, War Thunder aviation gameplay. the Axif Master now turning the tables mm. and is now on the tail of Olus. Yeah, he's been the one uh, turning better, maneuvering better, and I yeah, think this is this is, uh, this is about it. I mean, he's about to stall out up here anyway, and yeah, the, the crit damage has been done. The, the fuse a lot on that plane is looking horrible. But I mean, at least it isn't a wing, so he might still have a yeah. chance. It's not, it's not... Uh-oh. Is he going to be able to pull up? Uh, wow. That was close. That was very close. Huh. But yeah, at least it isn't a wing, so he shouldn't be too worried about leaning Now stuff. they're both right, like, like really close to the ground here. Both playing with the, uh, with the uh, trees. <laughs> not fire, not, not, not like, stuff like that, but trees. Oh, he's like, don't play with trees, they might jump up and snap ya. Yeah. And... Manix is mastering pretty close to those trees. Mm. Oh, we're down to this turning. We, we've seen this circle of death so many times. My favorite name for it. <laughs> I mean, I do, as I said, like, even though Menex Master did get that crit off, that fuselage doesn't seem to be affecting that plane nearly as much as if he had, say, critted a wing. Mm. Yeah, both are using flaps, and this is this is one of those where it's like just out, like drawn out. It's gonna take. It's already taking a lot of time to, to see who's gonna win this. I mean, it looks good for Colos at the moment, but is it enough? And how close do they want to get to these trees, though? Mm. So 
the hours work. <laughs> Are we really going there? <laughs> Are we really going there? Alright. Uh, lovely weather we're having, clear skies, uh, no, n you know. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is unfortunately, guys, uh, one of the downsides of spectating these matches is that sometimes we get these these circles that they just keep going and going. At least Colos is actually trying something here. Uh, whether or not it's 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 helping him or his teammate, don't know. Uh, I, I I'm just happy he's doing something differently, which is to actually climb. I I can't. Oh, I I think I know what he's trying to do. Uh, if you trying think to he... get up to a point where but, he's just gonna stall down on him, but no, I think this is Manic, dangerous. Manic has much better momentum because he hasn't been critted in the fuselage. Yeah. Although I feel like those stealth rounds are actually letting him down. Oh no, no mind. I take that back. Oh, like, you take that back. I was like, like he seems to not be hitting anything. <laughs> this is why I take tracers in my rounds. That is why you take tracers. That's why I take tracers. And well, uh, well. So what happened here was why Dronosaurus have won three out of the four one versus one duels. That means that Magenta Smoke has to be popped, and that White Dronosaurus has won the first point. It's 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 how what rhinoceros is you know show dominance. They like to throw magenta smoke. You know it's it's a common practice. <laughs> I think those stealth rounds let him duck. Boom. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, it was just. It wasn't. It wasn't that I didn't believe the stealth rounds were working. It's just there was a lot of stealth rounds going <laughs> in the direction of his face, and nothing was happening. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's difficult. It's difficult even from our perspective to know oh, whether yeah, or not yeah. they're hitting because I didn't see any sparks either. So yeah, they should use the tournament rounds. Yeah, <laughs> they should have like special tournament rounds. Make them make uh, them use traces. Yeah. Right. But yeah, obviously they can use stealth rounds if they want to. Uh, it makes things more difficult for us, and it's not—it's not that common. I think in RV it's more common, but in uh, simulator battles in the tournament, uh, it's—it's it's not been—it's been used, but it's not super common. I think the most time we've seen stealth rounds has been in the uh, in the LA5. Oh, three-minute break already. Oh, Lord, Lord. I mean that turn fighting. That so turn fighting must have must have uh, must have really took the wing, wind out of it. <laughs> the wind out of them. Uh, well, guys, as you as many of you know, who's been here uh, before, who's been uh, following the tournament, uh, you know, Rocket and Cytec is the sponsors and uh, uh, the winners or and even like top three uh, teams in this tournament is getting some nice hardware prices from both Rocket and Cytec. Uh, it's being, um, for example, it's being a joystick from um, Cytec, and uh, it's also being the Rocket tie-on mouse from Rocket. And we do have a short little video uh, sh uh, from Rocket showing you guys what the mouse is and what it uh, is supposed to be able to do. Uh, it has 16 buttons and a fin switch. So we're going to take a look at that now before we get into the 2 versus 2. Meet the Rocket Tie-On, featuring the brand new Rocket Accelerator Analog Thumb Paddle, giving you unrivaled command capabilities. The new Rocket Fin Switch, letting you execute multiple maneuvers at the same time. Four ergonomic top buttons, instinctively placed so that you can hunt for prey, not for buttons. Meet the new standard in gaming mouse control. Yeah, it's a shame. We're already, we're already, we're already gonna get to see that advert two more times. <laughs> Actually, one. That's the penultimate. That's the penultimate time. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is uh, the final. The, oh no, there's no, two, there's two games there's tomorrow. Two so finals. no, yeah, this is not yeah, okay. Yeah. Two more times. I was right the first time. Two more times. Got to be corrected twice. Well, we we can obviously keep the video and oh, I'm keeping watch the video. it as I'm yeah. You, you can. <laughs> You're keeping, the video. I'm keeping it. Oh, it's, it's, it's my, on my hard drive my now. I'm keeping precious, it. My precious, my precious data, my precious ones and zeros on my hard drive. 
<laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, somebody said 16 buttons. I'm like, yeah, I read that off a website that sells it, and so I didn't count it because I don't have I don't have the physical thing in my hand. I wish I wish I did. It looks it looks freaking awesome. I would love to have that mouse. I would uh, I would do many things to have that mouse and. I, I would definitely first thing I would do when I get when I if if and what I mean when if I don't know if I get that mouse the first thing I would do is uh, go like one two three four like count all the buttons uh, however they usually do count like you know the left and uh, right mouse button they usually count the scroll which you usually can click that's three uh, the fin switch probably counts as two because you can go left and right. Uh, so that's five, and then you had like thumb buttons, and yeah, so it quickly adds up. It was like what out on the finger edges, like four. So yeah, it quickly adds up the way that they usually count those things. And we're now going into the two versus two finally um, to take a look at who will uh, who will be getting two points. Uh, there's two of these uh, unless a tiebreaker is needed and THD and Colos Rodos gonna be flying out for Der Adler um, Johnny K and Hedgehiver flying out for White Rhinoceros uh, White Rhinoceros but White Rhinoceros is being up being up uh, one point they uh, you know if they uh, if they win this one they'll they'll be a little bit more secure going into the four versus four a little bit more confident maybe I should say and I wonder how many people were here um, for the simulator game. Uh, I did like to. S I did state that the RB guys seem to stay in a much tighter formation than the simulator guys. You normally see the simulator guys sort of split off into two separate one v ones. Here in the RB, they are very close together, not even you know a mile out from each other. Whereas in uh, in SB, they're normally like four or five miles out. <laughs> There's a difference. Johnny coming down on the. Oh, he already shot. Down THE, all he needed was that one pass, and actually, uh, THE almost, uh, Wreck almost flew into him. There was a head on there between Head Shooter and, uh, what's his name? Uh, Colos, Colos Rodos, um, which, uh, seemingly did not go very well for Head Shooter. No, uh, but it doesn't seem to be a crit. I think he just sort of lightly damaged the engine. Engine, yeah, enough to leak oil. Uh, Colos just passed on Johnny here. Uh, Johnny, who did not seemingly take any damage from that, well, they seem to be the two battling it out turning? right now. Who? Head shooter. <laughs> no, he just seems to be wobbling quite a lot, but I don't see any damage other than on from the engine. Oh, another head on. But now Colos is on fire, which, uh, yeah, he does not. The engine is dead. Everything is going down for him, and then a wing is off, and there you go. Head shooter's engine's broken. <laughs> I don't think that matters much. Nope. Because Johnny K is flying fine and steady. It is pretty quiet. Fine though. and dandy. Yeah, not only are white rhinoceros up one point, but they're also up one leg in the 2v2. Yeah, if white rhinoceroses win the second two versus two, then they get two more points, uh, putting them up at three, which obviously will give them a, I would say, a confident boost going into the four versus four. Mm. And they're gonna quickly move into that one. They've already read it up and they're now loading in.
Okay. I apparently have a wasp or something flying around in my in my room here while trying to spectate this, and it also when I watch this game apparently it's very excited. <laughs> like seriously, I was like something just flew past my eye. I was like, what the hell? Like I jumped, I jumped. I was not prepared for that. Stop it. <laughs> All right, we have Demujin and Sniper flying out for Dear Adler, and we have Phantomas and Maniac Sith Master flying out for White Rhinoceroses. And hopefully this wasp type of thing will leave me alone for a while. Again, they are staying in a quite tight formation. Everybody's looking for the kind of first engagement. Manic Sith Master getting two guys shooting Sniper. him. Sniper! Oh, almost could get uh, on Phantomus there. He is firing on... Oh, he actually shot down Phantomus! And Maniac... needs to get Sniper real quick here, so he can turn this into a... Uh, a 1v1. 1v1, but now it's a 2v1, and the Demujin is on... ferociously on the tail, and just boom, done. Dear Adler coming back. They're not going down without a fight. <laughs> They're definitely not going down without a fight. I'll be right back. And in the uh, in the match between Scream One One Two and uh, a Wasp, I am one up. <laughs> well, is the Wasp able to fight again? Because if not, uh, gonna, no, no, I, I did, I, did, I guess I did win the fight, but I'm not sure if they if there's gonna be more rounds. Maybe they have, maybe there's a whole team of them. <laughs> what <do> I know. <laughs> If it's king of the hill, I'm 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 king of the hill right now. <laughs> you do not interrupt. Like it could have been any that could have been my neighbor. You do not interrupt me when when freaking trying to spectate and watch the Gladiator Super Cup. I I will get something and just hit you so hard that you fall off. <laughs> And there should be a ready up here to go into the tiebreaker. Decide who gets the point. So whoever wins this next two versus two is going to be the team that gets the two points. Mm -hmm. Unless they all ram into each other. Unless. Then we'll have another decider. <laughs> And here we are. So, Dear Adler figured that Sniper Demujin just were so effective in the previous two versus two, they're letting them fly out again. Uh, Johnny K and Headshooter, the the winning team of uh, White Rhinoceros, is is getting their team's uh, confidence. So, we'll see now which which duo will be the better one. Again, the team who wins this one does get two points. Here we you go. wouldn't you wouldn't split your winning team competition up, would you? No, 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 no. Nope. I w I would always do exactly like they are doing it right now. That's what I would do too. Simple as that. I think Hedger is getting Demujin in a really really interesting spot here. Stealth rounds, 
He's just breaking, boom, done. Wow, the, like, there was no short bursts here. He's like, <laughs> until freaking done. And here he comes for Sniper. <gasps> whoop, whoop, head shooter taking out both the Rattler pilots. I mean, Donny K quick. was pretty much just bait. He was, he was there to look good. Yeah, he was, he was just like, well, head shooter, if you need me, I'll be here. <laughs> They could have just gone headshot with one versus two. <laughs> Obviously, that's not true, but theoretically. Well, that does mean White Rhinoceroses get two points. Uh, they're now up three points against zero. Uh, Der Adler on the ropes. They have to win the four versus four to extend the series into tiebreaker. Uh, if White Rhinoceroses win the four versus four, it's a whitewash, as uh, you Brits call it, uh, with uh, with them taking all six points and moving on to the grand grand final tomorrow. They're taking a five minute break <laughs> this time around. That's rather uh, weird. They normally only they have one break. They normally only have one break. First it was a three minute break between the one versus one and the two versus two. And uh, now there's a five minute break. Well. The arbiters really need to go to the toilet. Let, let me tell you a story about... White rhinoceros. Why, why, why first? I have no idea. I had no. I, I actually have no nothing. Well, I mean, white um, rhinos. I mean, if if this game <laughs> carries on the way it is, it, it it wouldn't really surprise me. Is the white rhinoceros even like leading up to this have literally just been six and owing, six and owing, six and owing teams mm. just like back to back. Like sure, yeah. they, I mean they lost to Sky Veterans like in the in the sort of winner bracket final, but then they went into lose bracket and started going six and owing, six and owing, six and owing, six and owing. Mm. So, I mean, they are a pretty dominating team. In D even Doradlo have had, like, 6-0 victories, but it's... They've, they've had not as... Uh, not as, as successful, I'm going to say. Like, they mm. have lost more points than white, white Rhinoceros have. Yeah. Yeah, White Rhinoceros have been very, very successful in this tournament, definitely. Uh, I think this is... Um, they went. Let me let me double check here, so my facts are straight. Um, yeah, they actually lost two Sky Veterans, five to one though. But they lost two Sky Veterans in the uh, round four in the in the winner bracket final. So this is the first match they're playing or first series they're playing in the loser bracket. Uh, if they if they win this, um, again they're they're then moving on to the grand final. Where Sky veterans are now waiting, uh, which would be would be a rematch for them, which would be really interesting though. Would they perform better in the rematch than they did in the uh, winner bracket final? I mean, they performed good. Don't get me wrong. It was, as far as I remember, it was not a one-sided thing. It was just that they did not get the points. Like they just, mm -mm. like you know, it didn't go into tiebreaker every round, but they 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 were just they were they were getting out performed by Sky Veterans, but they were still playing and flying really good. They did have their moments. Mm. And I mean, if you look at the MBSI game today, mm -hmm. um, MBSI were not as strong as they usually were. They're, they're 1v1 and they're 2v2, they just they literally just got creamed. Mm. They did bring it back in the 4v4 and then a second set of 2v2s. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would, uh, I would say that, you know. I mean, that could still happen. I mean, Der Adler could still swing back in the four versus four, uh, extend the series, and then be like, "Hey, let's not suck <laughs> in this next." Round. Like they, they could just, you know, step it up. Be like, "All right, it's time to get real." Like, you know, whatever the reason they lost were, they could, they could obviously come back from that. Uh, they, they still have the chance and opportunity to do so. We're now loading into the four versus four, so. Now is the time. Now, now, now is when they have to perform better. Right. Sorry. What I was, um, yeah, what I was trying to say because I, I sort of forgot. Uh, Ace of Diamonds. They, I mean, they performed a lot better uh, than they did when they first faced because they went five and one when they first faced NBSI. This time they obviously went four and three. Mm. So I feel like if Ace of Diamonds just pushed just that little bit harder and just got that. Yeah. They were rather unlucky in the four v four, and they almost they almost pulled it back from two to two to four. It was just rather unlucky. Hmm. By the way, there is a new pilot in the Rattler. There is cooler THD sniper cooler. and Demujian, uh flying out for them. Yeah, I haven't I've seen cooler before, but not in this series. Uh, we have Johnny K Hedger, Phantomas, and Maniac Sith Master flying out for um, for white rhinoceroses, and it's about to start. It's about to get messy. Hmm. Not the football player. Uh -oh. Somebody's already critted. Somebody's already Sniper shot down. Sniper already shot down. Sniper already shot down as well. Two Demujin player, uh, Deradler players already shut down. Demujin and Sniper both down. And I think Cooler is about to get THG down. THG shot down. Well, four versus one it is then. White Rhinoceros is. Uh, not going easy on the Rattler at all. Uh, Cooler being the last guy alive right now in this uh, four versus four, which is now a one versus four, and that seemed like a crash. It wasn't a crash, I guess. Now he's definitely well. He's he's just got. Oh my god! Well, I'm just not, gonna empty my bullets. He's not letting down. He's like, uh, he's yeah. he's. I want him dead. I, I I'm sorry, guys. My my button stuck. I'm just <laughs> firing all the time. Uh, <laughs> that that was just that. Boom. Uh, White Rhinoceros, done. They're in the grand final versus Sky Veterans uh, tomorrow. We have <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna be something. That's what we're gonna do next here. We're gonna see when is the match. You guys, you guys can pen and paper or uh, word pad, notepad, text file, something. Uh, you know, tattoo marker, whatever, uh, and and write down the 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 time, the starting times for the grand finals that is tomorrow, because you do not want to miss that. Absolutely not. However, though, not to take anything away from Der Adler, they are officially third best realistic battle team in the world right now like this is pretty much the world cup we were spectating like this is this is as close as you get the gladiator tournament at the end of last year being top eight qualifying to the super cup getting third place that is good that is amazing seriously I mean, uh mm -hmm. um this is just about tomorrow's game with Sky Veterans and White Rhinoceros. I mean, we've just seen mm -hmm. White Rhinoceros and we've discussed how dominant they've been throughout most of this tournament. Mm -hmm. The last time we saw Sky Veterans versus White Rhinoceros, this is what Sky Veterans sort of did to White Rhinoceros. Yeah. So, I mean, these, exactly. these two teams are once again pretty powerful, very dominating teams once again going up against each other. Yeah, and, I mean, it, it could was... either be a very prolonged, even game, or it could just be a 20 minute done deal. I mean, the previous, like, I mean, even though the score doesn't really represent it, the, the previous mm -hmm. game versus Sky Veterans and White, White Rhinoceros, I mean, it literally came down to sort of 1v1s in the 2v2, and even in the 3v3, uh, the 4v4, 